Hey, what's going on, guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon for the Nintendo 3DS. In the previous episode, I took on the boss of Mansion D. Today, I'm going to be starting on the final mansion of this game. But before we get started, do me a favor and leave a like on this episode. Let's see if we can reach over 500 likes for the final mansion of this entire game, Treacherous Mansion, one of my favorite mansions in this entire game. So, the level we're going to be doing today is E-1, front door key. We're not doing anything inside of the mansion. Uh, as you can probably tell by the title of this episode, we need to pretty much hunt down a key. Uh, Professor Egad is actually going to give us the key right now, but uh, it's going to be stolen by one of our old friendly little friends, the dog, the little paranormal puppy dog. It's really sad to think that th that's a ghost dog, meaning that l that little puppy died when it was a puppy, you know, and it became a ghost and now it's living its life or just, I don't know, eternalness on this world is a ghost. I don't really know, but look at that! We just became little mol. Could you imagine, though, for real, if you could, if you could like become little molecules and travel different places in a matter of seconds? How much, like, how much time you could save? How more convenient? How much? I don't know. It would be extremely convenient. You'd never have to like wait through lines at the airport, wait for your flight. If your flight gets delayed, you never have to like drive or sit in a car. You don't have to do anything. You could just bam travel. I feel like though, if a lot of people were using it at once, the molecules will like mix up, and then you'll end up having like a like a hand from somebody else and a leg from somebody else because the molecules will like intercept with one another and it will just mess people up. So, I mean, it's a good thing that technology like that doesn't exist. I physically think it's impossible because at this point, you'll need to travel at the speed of light and nothing. The speed of light goes so fast. Like, I don't even know how fast it goes. I just know it goes really, really fast that literally scientists can't even create that kind of speed. Like, they could not do that. <laughs> Anyways, welcome back to Luigi's Mansion. Oh, my God. This is, like, two of the scariest things ever. Narrow little pathways on really, really high cliffs and paranormal like he's just headed to his own demise like i don't know how luigi could do this props to luigi for being able to handle all of this stuff i personally couldn't like i told you guys i'm really scared of anything paranormal like that's what freaks me out just like paranormal stuff because when i was 11 my uncle kind of screwed me over um i don't know if it was real or not but my uncle took me to like this uh this exorcism when i was 11 and i, and I gotta see like this this priest or this guy I don't know if it was a shake or a priest, but somebody was like talking to this demon inside of a girl, and this girl was like floating on the bed, like literally she was tied down and she was like in midair, and I and I had to watch that when I, when I was 11, and that scarred me for life, I and mean, like thinking that oh people can actually get possessed and whatnot, and um, I did a lot of research about it when I was younger, and it all kind of makes sense and everything like that, so. I actually do believe in paranormal things like this. So this, like, not ghosts that will punch you and steal your keys and whatnot, but like actual like gins, if you believe, if you know what I mean. Gins are like genies, and that's what I kind of like believe in. And I, I think those are true because sometimes I'll go over to like a friend's house. I remember I had a friend, and he had like weird things going on at night, and he had two cats, and every night his cats would stand and like on the staircase, and they would just stare directly in one place. They would literally stare. Or if you have a dog, they will bark. And dogs and cats, like animals in general, are known to be able to see like paranormal things like that. So if your dog's ever barking at nothing, then it's probably a ghost. <laughs> but yeah, um, there's that. And then the height thing, because Luigi was walking on like such a narrow pathway. I could not do that. Even if it was, if, if I had to live or die, I probably would just end up fading on something like that. I couldn't do that. I remember like not even a month ago, my girlfriend and I went to the zoo and we, we did this thing called Skyfari, which puts you on like, a, I think it's called a ski lift, where they put you on a ski lift and it takes you up really, really high, like hundreds of feet in the air and you just look at the zoo from, from a very high view. And uh, my girlfriend and I did that and she was fine, but I'm really scared of heights. So it's, it's not like heights, like roller coasters or planes. Like I could do those fine because I know no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't escape out of a roller coaster or get out of a plane unless the plane crashed but like things like that skyfari thing where i could easily move the um uh, the thing oh geez the belt and then just jump off if i really wanted to is what freaks me out oh my gosh i gotta get these two guys at once oh nope i want to get you as well all right there we go if i could get them at once that'd be great come here come here i want you to come over here next to your friend there we go because these two, if you just let them run around, they will be so annoying. They'll end up killing me. And I do not want to die from them. Oh, one of them escaped. All right, let's do... 
All right, come on, come here. Oh, there's another one. A third one appeared. Oh, jeez. All right, there we go. All right, come on. We got this. We got this. Oh, yes. Come on. Pull them down. Where's one down? Oh, come on. We got this. Die, you big redded buffoon. All right, here we go. One more. One more. There we go. Not bad. All right, so... I did that. This level is actually pretty straightforward. It's really easy. It's just um, getting past some of these ghosts because I'm very rusty at this game. So um, I have like a lot of trouble like killing some of the ghosts. So I'm gonna. I'm really hoping that I don't have. I don't die because if I do that would stink. But I think what we need to do is we need to push that. We want to try to stand as close as you can to the gate because the gate will actually close really really quickly. So you want to try to stand as close as you possibly can and then. Uh, yeah, you'll be golden, but in this level, or in this area right here, you need to actually use this, this little web here, and you need to light all the torches up. I was talking about something about, I was talking about Sky Fire, oh, Fears of Height. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really scared of heights and paranormal things, those are like the only two things that I fear really pretty much in this world, but definitely I'll overcome them, like, I guess I've been pretty okay with it, it's just, I've been like traumatized, man, I shouldn't have went to like an exorcism when I was up, you don't do that to a, an 11 year old little boy. That was a traumatizing experience for me. <laughs> oh man, my uncle's, uh, yeah, he's a pretty interesting individual. But, uh, what else was I going to say? Oh, I was going to talk about PAX Prime. PAX Prime's in a couple of days, guys. Um, I'm actually going to make a video about it tomorrow. If you're watching this in the future, then don't worry about anything I'm saying right now. But I'm going to make a video about PAX tomorrow. It's a quick little vlog kind of thing to just inform you guys that I will be attending the convention, but if you guys are watching this video and are attending PAX Prime, I also will be attending PAX, so if you're there and you happen to see me, then uh, don't worry about me biting you, just come up and say hi, because it's always one of the best things to go to these conventions and be able to meet like a bunch of you guys in person, it makes uh, all of this like a, such a surreal experience. Okay, come on, come on dude, you need to get him on this rug, Jesus. Can you like stand here bro? Yeah, stand on the rug please. Alright, there we go. Ow! Jesus, man. He's like letting go of spiders every time he swings that axe. Come here, man. Right here. Right there. Right there, buddy boy. There we go. And he dropped a heart. So let me actually grab that heart. And then kill this guy. Not bad. Alright, so, so far we have obtained 275 pieces of gold. The, the, the goal here is to get 10,000 gold before the end of the game, because if you do that, you'll actually be able to uh, get the next Poltergeist. I don't know how many times it'll update, how many um, Poltergeists you can actually purchase in this game, but I'm hoping just to get that 10,000 one before the end of the game, so I could use that on the final boss. It'll make it really, really easy to do. But we're going to take this lift. It'll take us down here to the Haunted Catacombs. Now this, you actually need to use this. I don't even know what it's called. The strobe light thing. You need to follow the path. I actually know the path already by... I think I know this path. Yeah, it's not that way. It's going to be... It's going to be in here. Then you're going to follow the puppy. Go all the way here. And then you're going to head down inside of this room. Yeah, so I kind of remember this path already. But inside of this room is the room where you'll find your first gemstone as well as the boo of the level. I don't really know what happens when you collect all of the boos, but... Well, that's where you find the boo as well as the first gemstone. And the next two gemstones are actually pretty straightforward to find. They're really easy to find. But before we do that, we need to get rid of these ghosts. I hate the green ones. Those are the worst ones to kill. And they're the ones that usually populate the levels. The only reason why they're so bad to kill is because whenever you're distracted with another ghost, they'll literally attack you and take away all of your health. So the idea here is to get rid of those and then absorb them at once. Oh, Jesus, dude. Alright. Alright, come on. Come back here. Come on, you stupid ghost. If I could get this one. There we go. Come on. There we go. That's one down. Oh, jeez. There we go. There we go, we got both of them stunned at once. That's exactly what I needed. You could do that, then you pretty much are golden. Ah, come on. Ugh, come back here, Haunter. Oh, yes. We could do this. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. And let me get these gold. Because I want that gold. 
So you can actually leave this level if you want, but hold on, let me show you how to get the gemstone. Oh wait, you can't do that now. You have to actually get the booty to get the gemstone first. So we're gonna rotate this over to the red, which would then electrify this knight. I don't know what they were intending on doing with this. Those were like some professor ghosts, some crazy scientist ghosts that were planning on using that as like an experiment. I don't even know what it was or what they planned on doing with that, but what we need to do is we need to kill this guy. Come here, boo. And then pull his tongue. Hopefully we can kill him in like two tries. There we go. Oh, dang, look at that. It took almost half of his health. Alright, come here. There he is. I know in the next level, getting that boo is going to be very hard. Because you're going to have to find him in such a huge open space. Which, make it like, which makes it very hard to actually find him. So we're gonna go ahead and shoot him or just absorb him like that. There are hearts in the bottle. I'm not really sure if those are hearts that I can obtain because they look like there are hearts that I can obtain, but I kind of feel like they're also hearts from like, like humans. Like how disgusting would that be if it were like actual human heart and those ghosts were experimenting on it. But there you guys go, the first gem stone of this mansion. I'm actually gonna try to get one of those hearts as well. Cause why not give it to me? There we go, I just needed one, not two. One is perfect for me. And then we're gonna make our way inside of this room. I believe you also need to follow... Oh, you need to follow the path of the of the of these guys, the knights. The knights will actually direct you to where the next uh, gemstone piece is. Uh, I think there's gonna be one. Yeah, there's totally one right there. You're gonna absorb all of these. And when you interact with them, they're gonna literally just point in the direction of where you need to go. So we need to head this way. And then we're gonna need to use this in order to get the next gemstone. Let me let me show you guys what I'm talking about. Once you get that thing to come out of this poster, come here, come here, gems, come here. Yes, all right. Light it on fire, Jesus, man. All right. And then we're gonna head this way. Oops, that is totally the wrong way. I need to go find that web again. The web was right here. There we go. And then you're gonna grab the gemstone piece. And there you go, guys. That's the second gemstone piece. Now, the third one is actually really easy to get. I'd recommend just screwing yourself up by heading back. Like, in a wrong way. Oh, wait. The dog's actually this way. Where'd he go? Where did the little pup go? Did the puppy go this way? The puppy went this way. Let's follow the puppy's footsteps. All right. The puppy's gonna be in here. I think the gemstone's gonna be in this room. I feel like it should be. There is no gemstone in here. What? Did I skip over it somehow? Is there a way to like check? Um, so there's actually a room that I skipped over, I believe. Uh, now that I think about it, there's totally a room that I need to head to. Um, so we're just gonna follow the knight's path again. And then once you're in this room, it should take you, there should be a room somewhere here. Oh, there it is. Okay, I told you there was a room in here that we needed to actually make our way towards. It's called Cliffside, and there is your gemstone. Literally, that's all you need to do to get this gemstone. Three gemstones down already. All right. <laughs> I always skip over one. That's just that seems to be like the thing with every time I play like a new level like this. I always tend to skip over one of the gemstones. But now that we got that gemstone, we just need to find where the puppy went. We need to refine his footsteps. I think they went down this way. I think they want you to skip over two of the gemstones, like, that's why they make the door finding the puppy extremely easy. So, this is pretty much the end of the level, the dungeon cells. You could actually skip over that ghost. I'm gonna skip over him, because I'm not in the mood to battle them. It's not like we need them to level up or anything like that. But, what we're gonna do is we find the golden puppy bone inside of this knight. And then, um, in this thing is what we need to do. We need to- oh, no, no, no. Crap. What, what do we need to do? What do we need to do? Uh, there is something that I need. Oh, I need to pull that thing down. And then that will turn it that way. And then, I need to use that for the bomb to explode that little wall. I'd make sure you stand away from the door. Because you'll get damaged really badly if you let the door hit, or if the bomb explode on you. And then you can stun the puppy and grab him. He'll act, he could run away. If he does run away, it's okay because he'll actually just end up hiding in one of the barrels. Which then you can use like your, uh, your strobe light to find like his little footsteps and whatnot. But this is one of the easiest levels in this uh, entire mansion. It was really short and I obtained the boo 
and I got the three gemstones. So next time we're gonna be taking on the next level, and I know for a fact that that level has four gemstones, and the level is actually quite lengthy. But hopefully we'll be able to do it in a timely fashion. So let's go ahead and check out everything that we have completed so far. Cleared it in 10 minutes. Ghost captured 10. Health, I lost 30 health. Obtained 70 or 769 treasure. And I got a two-star ranking instead of a three. I think it's because every time I get hit, I think the ranking goes down. Maybe I'm supposed to like beat it without getting hurt at all to get like a perfect three-star ranking or something like that. I don't really know, but there you go. The game automatically saves once you're done with a level. And now we are back outside. What up, Professor Egad? I'm not really a big fan of the dialogue in this game. It's not like it's humorous, like Mario and Luigi was. Mario and Luigi was amazing. The dialogue in that game was just absolutely perfect. And there you go. Let's see what we got. We got three new gemstones. They actually aren't red this time. And then we got a new ghost, another puppy, and then we have... Yeah, new collections added. Oh, we got the upgrade, ladies and gentlemen. Holy crap. Holy crap. Oh my god. We got the upgrade. Now the next one is 20,000. So we need to double what we have. If we have 10k now, we need to double it by getting 20k. Alright guys, thank you all so much for watching. In the next episode, we're going to be taking on E-2. And I'm going to go ahead and check out what the level's actually called. Uh, after Professor E-Gat is done doing whatever it is he's doing. Alright, the next level is going to be called... Let's find out. It's going to be called Double Trouble. I'm actually intrigued to see if you can actually get a 3-star ranking in any of these levels. It doesn't look like... Oh, you can. 3-star ranking exists. I didn't know that. Alright. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. Goodbye.